Can you imagine? My guest saw Jesus pull 1,000 demons out of a single woman. Want to hear the most amazing thing that happened next? Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Is God ready to bring a tsunami wave of healing onto planet Earth today? Sid Roth has spent over 40 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest, Dr. Francis Miles, is in South Africa in a tent meeting, and they bring a woman that has been insane for 20 years. What happened? They bring her into the crusade, and uh, she, has no, she has no essence of being there. The men that were holding her had to hold her all the time because she was trying to run out. And then when the, when I, when the Lord uh, brought me closer to pray for her, I saw, uh, the, I saw a spirit get opened, a body got opened up, and I saw a spirit, and a spirit was surrounded with th- what looked like a beehive of thousands of, t- of, of, of demons with twinky eyes. And, and then a spirit spoke to me in English. In she, English. she didn't speak English. She didn't speak English. Uh, it was, she what, spoke Zulu. 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 <laughs> And she, she speaks to, in English, and she says to her spirit, says to me, Sid, Francis, help yes. me. Hmm. It was the most desperate cry I've ever heard in my life. And in that moment, the, the fire of God came upon me, and my interpreter said, I put my finger on her, on her head, and I, I said, in the name of Yeshua, unroll. And when I did that, I, had, I saw the golden hand of Jesus go into our body and be pu- begin to pull their spirit. They were tied to each other. It was like a long tail. And they began to come out like that. And when, when the last one came out, it's like Jesus threw a whole string of these demons in one string. And the woman fell back with the people who were holding her back. And, by the, and she recovered first, totally healed and Jesus. delivered. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. Otherwise... 20 years insane, oh, that, was, that was her fate for her whole life. She was eating in the trash cans of the, of the community. She, she was well known. Mm. Now, I know and you know that the devil is terrified at this divine revelation that you received of restraining orders from the courtroom uh, before we even get into this. Tell me the circumstances of how you got this revelation. Yes, I was driving from a crusade where I'd seen blind eyes open, deaf ears open. I was listening to Ron Canelli's song, Jesus is Alive, and I was coming towards this, a, a street light. And when I was coming close to it, the Holy Spirit says, I, when you get to the light, I want you, you don't go through it, go to the right and take the longer route to go to your house. Well, when I got to the light, instead of doing what the Holy Ghost had suggested, what I told me to do, I went right through it. I went as far as the next, the next light before I heard a bang and I was spinning because a truck had hit me from behind. I was in a borrowed car. It was towed uh, a seed and I was terrified, more for, more for the car than for my own life. <laughs> You know, and what I'm standing, the police arrive and they find the guy who hit my car, did not even have a driver's license, no insurance, so I had to do this, I had to repair this car by myself. And then the Holy Spirit says to me in that moment, when I put an order on you not to go through, you better listen to what I'm saying. That became the seed that would now be, would now God would use to excite this entire revelation on issuing divine restraining orders from the courts of heaven. Now. 
Uh, there have been many that have been teaching on the going to the courtrooms of heaven, but one of the most famous men that has taught on this, he heard your revelation, and what did he say? Oh, uh, Robert Henderson was in my church. And because I had the revelation, I said, I want to test it in front of Robert. I said, Robert, I'm going to test it in front of you because you're one of the fathers of the courtroom revelation. He said, okay, let me listen to it. When he heard me teach on issuing divine restraining orders, he says, oh my God, I've never heard this before. And nobody is ta talking about this side of the judicial government of God. And so he got me in touch with my publishers, Destiny Image, and that's how we got the book out. Now, tell me... Uh, explain to me what a divine restraining order is. A divine uh, restraining order is a restraining or protective order that is issued by the courts of heaven to protect a person of destiny, institution, business, or nation in situations involving clear and present danger to the preordained purposes of God. And once you get this restraining order, who enforces it? You see, this is the power of restraining orders. This is why the devil is terrified of the body of Christ, seed, understanding the revelation of restraining orders. It's because even in the natural realm, uh, one of the most, one of the judicial orders that's more sought after in the United States, per statistics, is restraining orders. Why? Because when a restraining order is issued by a judge, the judge and the court are now responsible for its enforcement. So when heaven, when our heavenly father, who is a righteous judge, therefore gives you a restraining order, the devil is in trouble. Because now the heavenly father, as the righteous judge, he has to enforce the restraining order, not the person it's protecting. So the enforcer is not the police department, but God. God himself. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Give me a biblical example uh, of a, a restraining order. One of them is your, your people. You see, the Jewish people, they're coming out of, out of the promise, out of Egypt because God has told them to go to right. the promised land. And then they come across the, the Moabites, and there is a King Balak who wants to curse them because he's afraid Israel might take his property. And he goes to a witch by the name of Balaam to try to curse them. And then an angel appears and puts a restraining order on Balaam and tells them, You can never curse Israel. And he couldn't curse them. <laughs> I, I, I think it, it, it says, you can't curse who I have blessed. Yes. I like that. Hallelujah. Uh, so it, it, explain this principle of divine restraint. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. When I was writing the book, the Lord spoke to me. He said, Francis, there is, there is, um, there is no way for me to give anybody true godly authority without putting them under a restraining principle. Because the bottom line is this, God can never use a man or woman he cannot restrain. And God said to me, this is why I put the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the Garden of Eden, is because I needed to give Adam and Eve legitimate authority over the animal kingdom, over the fall of the air, over the earth. But authority as a, as, as, as a matter can never exist without a restraining principle. So I put, a, I put one tree, they could ne every tree they could eat from, except one tree. So that tree they could not eat from was the only tree giving them authority over the garden. The more the moment they touched it, they lost authority. Because in, in the kingdom, godly authority ends when the restraining principle protecting it is, is broken. Give me some biblical examples. Well, there's some powerful biblical examples. You know, one of them, one of them is Samson. Samson was told by God that you can have supernatural power over the Philistines provided you do not cut your hair. That was the restraining principle upon his life. Well, he met Delilah and decided, you know what? The girl was more important than the restraining order. So he told her the secret of why he was supernaturally used by God. And you know what she did? She cut his hair overnight and then caught for the Philistines. And you know what happened to Samson? He was literally, his eyes were gouged out and he became a public spectacle, spectacle because he broke the restraining principle God had put upon his authority. 
We find that with King Saul, you know, he was not supposed as a, as a, in Israel, as coming from the tribe of Benjamin, it was not his place to offer an offering to the Lord. That was for the priests of Levi right. to do that. Samson had told, Samuel told him, wait for me, but he couldn't do it. And so he offered as though he was a priest. So by breaking that restraining order, Samson, uh, Samuel said, you are a fool because now your kingdom has been taken away from you. That's how he lost the kingdom. You know, as people get the richness of your teaching into them and start operating in these divine restraining orders, no wonder it's the devil's worst nightmare. Tell me about the Delilah spirit. A Delilah spirit is a spirit Satan's to incense into your life if you are cutting anything of substance for the kingdom. Because the purpose of the Delilah spirit is to find what is to find the key to your consecration and break it. Because once it's broken, the Delilah spirit knows God cannot use people, he cannot restrain. Give me some you know, of the purposes of divine restraining orders, some of the areas. Yes, some of the areas divine restraining orders cover is you know, restraining is protecting territory. There's also is divine restraining orders for restraining ungodly, violent behavior. And in the days we are living in with mass shootings, boy, do we need that restraining order. And then there's restraining orders for restraining storms and hurricanes, these forces of nature from destroying God's property. And then there are divine restraining orders that restrain God's servants who have got a high calling so that you can't behave like anybody else because you are carrying a heavy weight for the kingdom. And then there are divine restraining orders that are designed to restrain Satan himself. So there are multiple uses of restraining orders. I'll tell you what, Dr. Miles will pray for you in the courts of heaven next when we return. We will be right back to It's Supernatural! Dr. Francis Miles received a revelation from God that uncovers the way for you to issue divine restraining orders in the courts of heaven against Satan so you can begin to have your prayers answered every time without delay. Call now and get this brand new book and exclusive three-part audio CD teaching series, Issuing Divine Restraining Orders from the Courts of Heaven by Dr. Francis Miles with Robert Henderson. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9664 through Dr. Francis Miles' brand new book and exclusive three-part audio CD teaching series. You will learn how to restrict and revoke the plans of the enemy. Discover how to use your spiritual authority to cancel the devil's attacks against you and your loved ones. Understand the power of restraining orders that are in the American court system and how divine restraining orders are far more powerful when issued in the courts of heaven. Discover how to use your legal right to issue divine restraining orders to stop the enemy from his lies, his theft, and his scheme to bring sickness, poverty, and chaos into your life. Understand how to defeat the Delilah spirit, which is used by Satan to interfere with the anointing and the source of your strength given to you by God. From the moment you get a restraining order, you are no longer responsible for protecting yourself. You have actually borrowed the entire judicial power of the court system and the government behind the court. You need to step out of the fight and it becomes between God your father and the devil because he's the judge who gave you the restraining order. The book and audio audio teaching series includes a powerful prayer of repentance, plus 18 different anointed divine restraining order prayers for you to stop Satan in his tracks concerning premature death over your home, against witchcraft, against the spirit of poverty, against familiar spirits, against marriage breakers, over your business and career, over your children, against acts of terrorism, against devastating storms, against demonic dreams, and so much more. Don't miss out on getting this brand new book and exclusive three-part audio CD teaching series, issuing divine restraining orders from the courts of heaven by Dr. Francis Miles with Robert Henderson. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9664. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9664 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Turn to its supernatural. Well, you know, you know, I, I, I've got two parts of me. One part is uh, interest in the visible world. The other part is God's blessed me. I have a very logical brain. 
So I want to, uh, from a logical viewpoint, what's the first thing we have to do to get a divine restraining order? The first thing we have to do, Sid, to get a divine restraining order from the righteous judge is to repent. Absolutely to repent. I don't even hear that word anymore. <laughs> well, listen, there are people now who are teaching, uh, uh, who are saying that under grace we don't have to, re to repent. I think that really that's really a demonic strategy to rob our authority from coming before the court of heaven. Because, you know, see, the word repentance simply means to be in right standing. It literally means to t t turn back, you know, and come into alignment with the governing authority. How can we come before God asking him to restrain the devil when we are not restrained? Right. You know, that's a legal right the devil has to argue. He argue the devil can argue against us in the court of heaven and say, Lord, why would they restrain me? You know, why would you, they come here to restrain me when they want to listen to you? So repentance allows us to come before God and say, God, as I come to ask for something I really need for you to do for me, Lord, I realize that there are areas where I have broken your word, where I have not walked like you. And thank God the blood of Jesus was shed for just things like that. You want to be in a right place when you're asking. There is nothing in the court where the enemy can contest what you're trying to request from the court. Tell me about the woman in your church that needed a divine restraining order. Oh, I, I mean, I have a, <laughs> you know, my church is very multiracial. So I had a, this is one of my Caucasian uh, members. She came to my office on a Sunday morning See, The worship was going, I could hear in the background, but she wanted to see me. Mm -hmm. I, her eyes were bloodshot and I realized, I said, oh, what, what, what happened to you? She, she said, I've been crying all night. She, uh, she said to me, I can't live like this. And then just tears began to come down. And then she said, well, I used to be, I, I used to have a good marriage until one day I found my husband was cheating in our, in our, in our matrimonial bed uh, with a woman half of his age. He devastated me. He ran out with this woman. He says, but I was getting healed from it. But the problem is we've got two children together. And he says, Dr. Miles, every time he comes to pick the children so he can spend time with them, he comes with the woman that broke my marriage. It's like, it's like flaunting it in my face. And then he sometimes is very verbally abusive to me in front of the girl hmm. that destroyed my marriage. And she cries, I'm a child of God. I can't be treated can't like this. I'm no trash. God help me. The, I could see what well, the point of breaking God down. And in that moment, the Holy Spirit said to her, ask her for, said, tell her to ask her that she wanted a divine, that she wanted a restraining order. So I said to her, I says, as a sister, do you, God, do you want a restraining order? She thought I'm talking about going to natural courts. Right. <laughs> she reacts, she says, no, I would like to get one, but I don't have the money to take longer to go through. I don't have an attorney. I said, I'm not talking about natural restraining orders. He says, as you're talking to me, your heavenly father has heard your cry and is asking me, do you want me to bring you before him to get the divine restraining order against this man's behavior? She said, you mean God issues restraining orders? I said, of course, he's the righteous judge. He's the first judge. She said, let's do it. So I said, what do you want? She said, I want him to stop insulting me. Uh, and she said, I want him to stop coming to collect the children with this woman who broke our marriage. And thirdly, the kids have been begging to go and see my grandparents who live in another, another state. Every time I beg him to take, them, to take my children there, he's promised me he'll go to the Phoenix Police Department and, and uh, file kidnapping charges. So the kids can't even go and see their grandparents. Mm. I need those three things. So we went before the court of heaven and we asked for a restraining order against this man in those areas. See, it's less than 48 hours. The man calls her and is crying on the phone. He says, I, he says to her, I do not know why I've treated you so miserably. You don't deserve it. You didn't break the covenant. I did. I did. He said, listen, I want to make amends. I want to make amends. And he said, here is what I'm going to do. And he begins to spew out what was in the divine restraining order. He said to her, number one, he says to her, <laughs> he says to her, he says, I promise you, Whenever I come to take the children now, I will not bring this woman with me. She'll remain behind. I've already told her, you don't deserve to relieve the affair. Yeah. Number two, I am so sorry for the verbally abusive I've been towards you. I am sorry. I'll never do it again. He says, number three, you've been trying to take the children out of state. You have my permission to take them out of state. <laughs> Less than 48 hours. 
in your book, you talk about a man uh, from Germany leaves his wife, his daughter, goes to another country. Uh, tell me about that restraining order. Yes, uh, uh, th there's, there's a woman who hears about me teaching. I was doing an online Bible study on issuing divine restraining orders from the courts of heaven. And she happened to logging into the court from Germany. As soon as she heard me teach on restraining orders, she began, she, she, she began, she began to cry. She realized this was the missing link. She had tried everything, Sid. Her husband had left overnight without even telling her. She came home to a note that told her, I'm done with the marriage. And, uh, and he left her and the daughter and went to another European country. And then a couple of months later, the, uh, the proceeding for divorce began to happen within the German court system. So for a year, she has not heard from me. She doesn't even know where he is. But when she, then she went before, she to the mass, I felt led by the Holy Spirit to go before the court by myself, using the little I heard about who you told me, and I asked my Heavenly Father, the righteous judge, for a restraining order against a spirit that is behind my husband not wanting to be the king and the prophet and the priest of our family. She said, I, the, within 24 hours, he calls me and he said he has not called me in almost 12 months. He calls me and he's crying on the other side of the phone. He said... She said to her wife, I'm so sorry, I abandoned you. If you, if it's okay with you, if you can still have me, I want to come back for you because I really want to become the husband I should have been. I am so sorry. He said, please come. Right now, he's in Germany, and they're, it's like they're having a honeymoon again. It's, it, the man is the, it's everything a husband should be. If you um, <laughs> one of the so helpful things in your book beyond someone has to read it to get this revelation deep within them mm. the teaching because the teaching it's, is revelation that's itself. right but then you have 18 prayers for 18 different things that people may need restraining orders for tell me some of those prayers what do they cover oh my god we've got a prayer Again, uh, for releasing divine restraining orders against premature death. And uh, then we've got a prayer against uh, restraining witchcraft. We've got a prayer that uh, for restraining the spirit of terrorism. We've got uh, prayers for, for, uh, for restraining uh, covenant marriage breakers. I mean, this thing is loaded. And what we have done is I wanted to make sure, Seed, that people's journey to the court of heaven is successful. That was important to me because I know God does not bend at the whim of human emotion. God is God and God always wants what he wants. You can't manipulate God by emotion, but you can move him by the word. So we made sure that the prayers were, for lack of a better word, foolproof. That they are written in such a way that when you go to the court of heaven, it won't be a journey in vain. When you come back, the restraining order will be issued. And that's why people are getting these answers to prayer just like that. I want to pray that your start would be to have every one of your sins washed away. I want you to say this prayer. I want this to be a new beginning for you. But I want you to have your own encounter with God. I want you to open the door with your own mouth. Repeat this prayer and mean it to the best of your knowledge. Repeat this after me. Dear God, Dear God I've committed many sins, committed sins and, I'm so and I'm so sorry. I believe, I believe the, blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus washes them away. Washes them away. And, God, and God, you have no memory of them anymore. No and, I'm clean. and I'm clean. And now that I'm clean, and now that I'm clean Make my, body Make my body the temple, the temple of, your Holy Spirit. of your Holy Spirit. Jesus, come inside of me. I call you Lord. Amen. Amen. Hello, Sid Roth here with Dr. Francis Miles. And uh, Francis, we were talking on the phone. Uh, we've just done a show on the restraining, divine restraining orders. Uh, from the courtrooms of heaven, uh, and you said to me, the glory is the highest restraining order. Explain that to us. Yes, when I was dealing with the issue of the issuing divine restraining orders, God said to me, Francis, I want you to know something, that the glory, the kabod, 
the Shekinah glory that will come in, do, in, in, in Israel. He said, to, he said to me, the glory is the highest divine restraining order in the universe, period. You see, when the glory comes down, it restrains both the devil and man at the same time. God said to me, people, you can have flesh misbehaving in the anointing. In other words, in the anointing, flesh can show up. But in the glory, flesh is shut down and demons are shut down. I, I, I don't know if you heard the second part. He said, in the glory, flesh is shut down, but demons are shut down. That means the way I envision this, and you correct me if I'm wrong, the glory is going to be so thick around us that no demon can penetrate it. No demon of sickness, no demon of fear. It can't even penetrate that glory. You 100% see, 100% right. That's why God said, this is why in the last days, the biggest protection for my people is walking and living in the glory. Well, I want you to take us uh, just almost step one, two, three. Uh, take us into the courtroom of heaven for uh, our divine restraining order, and then pray it over us in the camera. Yes. Well, I want to take you before the court, whatever you are. You know, let's go before the court of heaven. Just remember that the judge is your father who sent his only begotten son to die for you. So he welcomes your, you, 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 he welcomes your entrance into the courtroom. This is not the courtroom where you have to be scared because your father controls the courtroom. So let's it's, just come it, before. It's fixed. It's fixed. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. So just pray this prayer after me and just say this after me. Say, say Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I thank you for the privilege. I thank you for the privilege that you give me by the blood of Jesus. That you've given me by the blood of access Jesus. Access the court of heaven. To access the court of heaven. I come before the court of heaven. I come before the court of I'm heaven. I'm asking that the court be seated. I am asking that the court be seated. According to Daniel 7, verse 10. According to Daniel 7, verse 10. To hear my case. To hear my case. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I repent. I repent. As I come before the courtroom. As I come before the courtroom. For sins known and unknown. For sins known and unknown. That the devil could use. That the devil could use. As legal grounds. As legal grounds. To try to impede my progress. To try and impede my progress. In the court of heaven. In the court of heaven. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. That I'm now washed by the blood of Jesus. That I'm now washed by the blood of and Jesus. And cleansed of all sin. And cleansed of all sin. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. As I come before you. As I come before you. Seeking a divine restraining order. Seeking a divine restraining order. I do not do it by myself. I do not do it by myself. I'm asking my attorney. I'm asking my My attorney, advocate. My advocate. The Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus. To stand before me. To stand before And me, argue my case. And argue my case. For a divine restraining order for a divine restraining against order, premature death against premature death I need a divine restraining order I need a divine restraining order against the spirit of witchcraft against the spirit of witchcraft Lord I'm asking for a divine restraining order I'm asking for a divine restraining order against financial robbers against financial robbers in Jesus name in Jesus name Heavenly Father Heavenly Father I'm asking I'm asking that based upon the finished work of the cross that based upon the finished work of the cross may you uh, assign to me may you assigned to this me divine restraining orders. This restraining order. Because it is my right by the word. Because it's my right by the word. Because of the price Jesus paid. Because of the price Jesus paid. To have these divine restraining orders. Gives this divine restraining order. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. As you give me this divine restraining orders. As you give me this divine restraining order. Thank you for assigning. Thank you for assigning. High ranking. High rank. Angelic officers of the courts. And Angelic officers of the court to enforce this divine restraining orders to enforce this divine restraining here on earth here on earth may Satan and any of his demons and any of his demons or you is human agents or his human agents be held in contempt of court be held in contempt of court immediately immediately by these holy angels by these holy angels should they even try should they even try to violate this divine restraining order to violate this restraining order I receive by faith I receive by faith this divine restraining order this divine restraining order this divine restraining order because we know it is written because we know it is written that if we ask anything if we ask 
any, according to your will, Father, according to your will, Father, you hear us. You hear us. I have asked this. I have asked this in the name of your Son. In the name of and your according son, to the will of God. And according to the will. So of God. I receive them by faith. So I receive them by faith. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, you put in. We, we prayed for a divine restraining order against premature death. Yes. What about all those that are in the studio audience that are watching us right now that are sick in their body, maybe not unto death, or maybe unto death, but there's just have various pains and diseases. Is there a restraining order? To, or how would you pray against that? The Lord says, spoke to me. He said to me, the restraining order against premature death comes loaded with healing power. Ah, I like that. <laughs> because premature death is premature death whether you die by disease or by accident. So once it's issued, God begins to take out of your life whatever can cause premature death. So I just declare that the healing power of God is being released over those that are watching us and even our studio agents, you better receive your healing right now because God is releasing the healing anointing. When we issue that restraining order, when the Heavenly Father released that restraining order against premature death, I want to check your body because you just began to get healed in Jesus' name. So the cancer won't take you out of here before your time. It doesn't matter what the disease was, it will not take you out before your appointed time. I have to ask you one more thing because you are a prophet. What do you see coming to America? I, I believe that there is another wave of God's supernatural power coming. I really believe that the church in America is about to graduate from the anointing into the realm of the glory. And a lot of the stuff we are dealing with in the church today, we're going to begin to see God begin to shut them down. There's been too much flesh in the church, in the American church. And that's because we, 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 the flesh can survive in the anointing. But the glory is about to take back the house and give it back to God. Is that sort of like... Is that sort of like Ananias and Sapphira? Ananias and Sapphira. You see, you see, in the anointing you can lie. In the glory you die. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so the glory brings with it the fear of the Lord. That's why it shuts down demons and flesh. But that's Listen. another thing besides repentance I don't hear much about. The fear of the Lord. Well, there are people now are saying the grace message that's now being preached absorbs us from the fear of the Lord. And I'm saying nothing can be more satanic because if you don't fear God, then who? I mean, Jesus actually walked in the fear of the Lord. I said, okay, if, how can you be under grace and not walk in the fear of the Lord? And yet the one who brought grace, the Bible says you, he prayed day and night because he feared. He was heard because he feared. Hebrews chapter 5. So Jesus was heard by his father because he prayed and he walked in the fear of the Lord. So how can you, how can the man who brought us grace walk in the fear of the Lord, but the recipients of grace don't walk in the fear of the Lord? Doesn't make sense to me. And uh, tell me, just before we go off the air, this book is so important that we're making available. What will happen when people read this book? Why did you really write this? The Lord said to me, I'm, first and foremost, I want to speak to the intercessory prayer movement all over the world. The Lord said to me, Francis, I'm giving you this too for the body of Christ because the prayer movement around the world has plateaued. And this is a tool to take the prayer movement to another realm of authority and breakthrough that is never had before. But for just ordinary Christians or just dealing with stuff in your life, this book is a game changer because... The devil cannot resist the authority of God once a restraining order is in place. You know why? Because Satan himself is an officer of the court of heaven, and he doesn't want to be held in contempt. Amen. Wow. I'll tell you what. I don't have anything to say except <laughs> amen. So be it. 
Dr. Francis Miles received a revelation from God that uncovers the way for you to issue divine restraining orders in the courts of heaven against Satan so you can begin to have your prayers answered every time without delay. Call now and get this brand new book and exclusive three-part audio CD teaching series, Issuing Divine Restraining Orders from the Courts of Heaven by Dr. Francis Miles with Robert Henderson. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9664. Through Dr. Francis Miles' brand new book and exclusive three-part audio CD teaching series, you will learn how to restrict and revoke the plans of the enemy. Discover how to use your spiritual authority to cancel the devil's attacks against you and your loved ones. Understand the power of restraining orders that are in the American court system and how divine restraining orders are far more powerful when issued in the courts of heaven. Discover how to use your legal right to issue divine restraining orders to stop the enemy from his lies, his theft, and his scheme to bring sickness, poverty, and chaos into your life. Understand how to defeat the Delilah spirit, which is used by Satan to interfere with the anointing and the source of your strength given to you by God. From the moment you get a restraining order, you are no longer responsible for protecting yourself. You have actually borrowed the entire judicial power of the court system and the government behind the court. You need to step out of the fight and it becomes between God your Father and the devil because he's the judge who gave you the restraining order. The book and audio teaching series includes a powerful prayer of repentance plus 18 different anointed divine restraining order prayers for you to stop Satan in his tracks concerning premature death, an abusive spouse, over your home, over your church, against witchcraft, against the spirit of poverty, against familiar spirits, against marriage breakers, against enemies of the gospel, over your business and career, over your children, against acts of terrorism, against devastating storms, against demonic dreams, and so much more. You're so prophetic, you don't even <laughs> realize it. He just happened to have 18 of these supernatural prayers. 18 is the Hebrew word for 18 is high. It also has an English meaning, life, 18 and life. Wow. I believe that these prayers <laughs> are going to breathe new life <laughs> into your destiny. Don't miss out on getting this brand new book and exclusive three-part audio CD teaching series, Issuing Divine Restraining Orders from the Courts of Heaven by Dr. Francis Miles with Robert Henderson. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9664. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9664 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today.